Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Last time we went, uh, we got over here to the Cypher Lab, and we started systematically defeating each of these six brothers, and we only have one left, and it's Yellow Six over here. Yell, Yell Six? Yellow Six? I don't know what he's gonna be called. We might not look it, but we are busy. What? Uh, but do you want to play? Anyway, yeah, I want to battle you and steal your Shadow Pokemon that I know you got. I don't remember what it is, but I'm gonna take it. Is it an Electrike? Might be Electrike. I was hoping it was Voltorb, but I think it's Electrike. Yeah, pretty sure it is. That looks familiar. Or it seems familiar, anyways. Chinchow. An odd, uh, Pokemon type, you know, matchup there. Having electricity and water at the same time, but... Alright, let's use Shadow Wave. Let oh, it's not Electrike. Okay. I guess, I don't know. Then Now I'm really lost. Chinchow. Okay, and Shadow Wave hopefully will take that guy out. Tackle, yeah, yeah. Not gonna do jack to Umbreon. We found out during the Coliseum Let's Play that Umbreon has amazing defense. Umbreon is surprisingly tanky. Which is another thing that makes Umbreon great. I, I haven't tried most other dark types, but I'm pretty sure they aren't that tanky. Like what I can, you know, what I know from experience fighting against other dark types, like Absol, Houndoom, Mightyena, they don't seem as tanky as Umbreon feels. Um, now, you know, again, maybe that's just me, but I don't know. I've just, I've really found, I've really come to like Umbreon's tankiness. And of course, Umbreon looks super cool, so there's always that. I have a bad habit of picking Pokemon uh, based on their looks rather than their abilities. <laughs> so, you know. Uh, what is he trying to learn? Oh, Pursuit. Yeah, sure. Let's see. Um, bad damage if using on target, switching out. Well, the AI don't typically do that. It's very rare that they do that, but even still. We'll get rid of Tail Whip, because I'll never use it. And then if Bite runs out of PP for whatever reason, then we still have another Dark-type move. Mareep! Oh, it's a Mareep! I could have an Ampharos again, if I wanted to. I kind of want to wait for Voltorb, though, because Electrode... Electrode will learn Rollout, which is an awesome Rock-type move, and it's very fast. Electrode is very, very fast. Chinchou is down... Ampharos is not that fast. That's one of the issues I had with uh, Ampharos in the Colosseum Let's Play. Is it just it was powerful, but it tended to die <laughs> um, a lot. So okay, Pursuit's actually a weaker Dark type move, so I want to use Pursuit instead of uh, Bite right now. Shadow Blitz. Okay, going for the going for the target that is more squishy in that regard. In in regard to defense against Shadow type moves, anyways. All right, let's use Pursuit. All right, there we go. Um, we could probably do that again. Yeah, why not? And then we'll switch to like just using Shadow Wave or just using Tackle or something softer, so I don't knock it out. We should actually have time to get into the Cipher Base this episode, which would be cool. Let's go with Pursuit. Ooh, okay, yeah, I want to stop there. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to lose this guy. Let's have Sveal use one more Shadow Wave, and Umbreon will try to use a Pokeball this turn and see if we can pull this off here. I think we're going to run back to a gate and buy some more Pokeballs, too, because two is not going to be enough to get us through the Cyber Base. We've made decent money so far, too, by having a lot of successful battles. Wow, to this moment, we are still one for one on Pokemon catches. Even even if we exclude the Teddy Ursa that they gave us for free, because it was going to work anyways, but... I hate brats. Well, you know, too bad. You don't get to... Well, you do get to choose whether or not you win or lose, you just gotta be better. <laughs> we try to look busy, but actually we have nothing to do. It's not like we need to worry about any enemies in this desert. <coughs> anyways... <laughs> um, well, I gotta go back to a gate to buy Pokeballs anyway, so we'll just heal up back there. So, let's see. Whoops, whoops, nope, 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 yep, there we go. So let's actually, uh, I guess I'll show the, uh, the shop. I, I, I showed it before when we first got here, but now I can, now I can actually buy something from the shop. Something useful, that is. Hello, Pokemart. How are we doing, sir? 
Uh, just added Pokeballs to our choice selection of trainer merchandise. Excellent. Okay. Let's see. I have two. If I buy eight, that'll put me up to ten. If I go for thirteen, that puts me up to fifteen. I like that. Let's do that. There we go. I'll include a Premier Ball as a free bonus. Thank you. Now, why am I going for multiples of five? I don't know. I'm weird, and I like the way... I like numbers that end in zero or five. Okay? So that's, that's just... It's a weird pet peeve of mine. Sometimes I can... Well, it's not... It's not like a compulsive thing. Like, for example, the, uh, obviously you saw the antidotes, the burn heals, all that stuff. I only have three of those at a time. And if I use one, I'm not like, oh my god, I gotta, gotta get in another to fill up my inventory. Um, so it's not a compulsory thing. It's just, I don't know. I like numbers that end in 0 and 5. They're nice. I consider them even numbers. Uh, well, 0 is an even number. But 5 isn't technically an even number. I just, I just... The math is easier, okay? I like those numbers. Alright, rant over. Let's head back to the Cypher base. We're healed up. We got 15 Pokeballs and a Premier Ball. And we should be good to go uh, to get through the rest of the Cypher base here. Alright. Okay, Cypher, we are coming for you. So we only missed one of those Shadow Pokemon because Umbreon decided it was a good time to get a critical hit. So, thanks for that. Now, is there anything I can do in this room? Hmm. Mm hmm. No, I guess not. Okay. Well. Oh, hello. Hey, you're not supposed to be in here. How do you know? Maybe I'm a new recruit. You don't know that. Jeez. Cypher Peon Corla. Uh, Duskull and a Skitty. Well, Duskull's gonna be weak to uh, Dark type, so that's good. Skitty is just gonna be annoying in general. Unless is that is that a Shadow Skitty that will evolve into a Delcaddy? No. Okay. I think you catch. I think you catch Delcaddy as a Delcaddy. Um, pretty sure, but don't quote me on that. It's been a long time since I played this, so. Skitty use tackle, yeah, yeah. I want to purify this feel as soon as humanly possible. I'm really excited to get it leveling up and evolving into Wall Rain. Super effective. Oh darn! It's always going to be super effective. What am I saying? There's no reason to be excited when it's a super effective. It always will be. It's a shadow type against a non-shadow type. And just like that, you are down, lady. Sit down. Sit down. I will raid this base, I mean, join the team if I want to. I'm not supposed to lose to you. I'm not raiding the base, I'm just joining the team. I'm just joining Cypher, that's all. <laughs> I think the layout in here has actually changed a little bit since uh, the last game, but I don't know for sure. It doesn't appear to open from this side, okay, so that's the same. Um, let's see, oh, hello. No running in the hall. All right, fine. What you gonna do about it? Javion. Javion. I don't know. Javion, let's, let's say. What do you want, lady? A Doduo and a Talo. Um, do I have flying covered in my plans? Really? Hmm. I'll keep an eye out for a good flying type. Uh, but neither of these guys are shadow Pokemon. I've always liked Swellow. I, I can't explain it, but I think Swellow is really cool. Cool and good. I, uh, I used the Swellow throughout um, my Ruby playthrough the first time, and it was uh, it was one of my main team Pokemon. It, it was great. I mean, maybe it's not t statistically the strongest flying type, but then again, I don't get into competitive and all that stuff, so the single-player experience against the AIs is totally different than competitive. You don't have to take it that seriously anyways, so... At least in that's and that's something else is like at least in the single player experience against the AIs you can you can really experiment and have fun with whatever Pokemon you want um, and, and it really doesn't matter that much and it's especially good that that is the case here in XD and in Colosseum because uh, you, you're kind of very limited in what Pokemon you can choose you don't you don't get a whole lot of options and you don't get to choose when you get those options the game gives you Pokemon as you go through and that that order doesn't change uh, no matter how many times you play through this so you know you kinda gotta make your team up as you go and inevitably you're gonna end up having to raise up some Pokemon um, that you know are gonna be under leveled when are they finally gonna get that guy to spill the beans about that purification research 
He might be the authority on purification, but if he won't talk, our work's not going anywhere. Wah! What are you doing here? I don't know what you're gonna do about me doing here. Cypher R&D Mesak. Mesak. Anorith and Lily. Oh, you got both the fossil Pokemon. Cheater! You're not supposed to be able to do that. You went to the desert and freaking broke the game, so you got both fossils. Screw you, sir. Screw you. I don't like cheaters, okay? We're gonna use Water Gun on Anorith and Bite on Lily, and we'll see how that do, uh, see how that works. I expected the Lily to resist that a little bit. <laughs> Let's try to use Water Gun on the Anorith, though. That should that should do good. It's a rock and what type is a rock and? I don't remember. Rock and bug? Rock and ground? I don't remember. It's rock and something. I know that. Acid. Ugh, I hate you. Could you? Could you just not? Could you just not? Oh, it hits both of them. Great. As long as it can't poison me, I'm fine. Um, let's go for. You know what? Let's go with the shadow wave, and we'll go with a bite on the lily. That way, we can hopefully take out the lily. And definitely take out the Anorith this turn. Ooh, I don't know. That's gonna be it's gonna be a little tough to get through that resistance, uh, physical resistance that it has. Electricity's power is weakened. When I have no electric Pokemon. Good job. Thank you for that, Anorith. Just burn a turn, why don't you? Your last opportunity to make a move and you totally ruin it. Ah, oh, I was afraid of that. Hey, Umbreon level 17 now. Very nice. Acid again. As long as you don't poison me, I'm fine. At least the healing machine is not that far away, but still. Oh, it lowers my defense sometimes. Okay, that's not too bad. I can handle that. Da -da 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 -da. And this should be the end of Lily. Another tanky, pr uh, pretty tanky Pokemon. We're also like four levels above it, so um, yeah, it, it's quite tanky indeed. Granted, I wasn't using anything that was super effective, but still. Oh my gosh, that shook me up. Yeah, well, this little kid knows how to battle, so don't mess with the little kid. All I want to do is work on my research. Don't disturb me, please. Hey, you, you turn around and talk to me, man. Um, how are they doing? They are doing okay. See, in Colosseum, I'd absolutely run back and heal right now, but these guys, I feel fine. Oh, who's wandering around here? Uh, I am. What you gonna do about it, lady? Nexer. Alright, Nexer, let's see what you got. Swinub and Shuppet. Well, I can take out the Shuppet pretty easily. Swinub, I could use Water Gun. It's part Ice type, so. But it's also part Ground. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go for a Water Gun on the Shuppet. Let's go for. Oh, wait. No, no. Water Gun on the Swinub, bite the Shuppet. There we go. I forgot Umbreon was second in this lineup. Please take out the Shuppet. Yeah, I got the Shuppet in one shot. Very nice. Water Gun, I don't expect to take out the Swine Up in one hit. Um, Spinarak, is that a Shadow Pokemon? Yes, it is. Cool. I remember some things. I tend to remember a lot of the Shadow Pokemon you can get in this game, but I don't remember who gives them to you at what point. Let's see. Sfeel used Water Gun. Super effective. Oh, good. Okay, so I was worried that the ice type would negate the super effectiveness of the water against ground, but it, I guess water against ice is just neutral, so we still got the super effective. Um, let's go for a shadow wave and a pursuit, because it's a weaker dark type move. I would love to get a nice flying type on the team. Come to think of it, like think about it more, I would. It'd be good. It'd be really good to have a nice flying type. <laughs> Shadow Mist, that's probably what I'll end up using on you one of these turns here. Maybe next turn so that uh, I can use Pursuit one more time and not risk knocking you out with Shadow Wave. Assuming Umbreon doesn't go on a field day and have another critical hit incident. Oh, I don't even know if I want to do that. Okay, let's just go with another Shadow Wave. We'll go with a Sand Attack. Just to you kind of waste a turn here. Shadow Wave did a little more than I was counting on it doing, so... Yeah. Shadow Blitz. And also, I really do not trust Umbreon with those critical hits. I don't trust him at all. You're too good, Umbreon. You're just too good. Shadow Wave. Let's see. Hmm. 
Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll call Sfeel, we'll try to throw a ball at this guy, and we'll see what happens here. Sfeel is in reverse mode. Let's go ahead and call it. Let's go ahead and toss a ball. Let's use the Premier Ball. Why not? Why not? Alright, Spinarak, you get the fancy ball if you want to stay in it. Trust me, it's like a luxury hotel in there. You'll love it. I set it up just for you. Fresh bed sheets and everything. Yep. <laughs> We're still one for one on catch rate. That's awesome. And we could have gotten him a lot lower on health if we wanted to, but... How's that, Nexer? I shouldn't have come out. No, you shouldn't have. You really shouldn't have. Now I've got another one of your precious shadow Pokemon. And what's in this item box, I wonder? Uh, revive! Very useful. Very useful indeed. I don't know how badly we're going to need that when we get to some of the uh, the bosses and stuff, but... Okay, let's see. Uh, did I... Oh, okay, I tried to use Call, but it um, threw the ball first. Okay, that's fine. Um, hmm... Hmm, I would really like to get Sfeel unshadowified, <laughs> or pure, I mean, why did I do that? It, there's a word for that, purified, uh, as soon as possible, but... So we're kind of going the other way through the lab right now, as you may notice. Oh, hello. Please, Professor Crane, when will you tell me about your purification study? I do so want to know. That will let me power up my XD001. I so made it myself. Don't you think that would be fabulous? You've got to be joking. I would never cooperate with people like you. Oh, but why? I so don't get it. Why would you refuse an offer so wonderful as this? I don't care how often you repeat yourself. I have no intention of helping your Shadow Pokemon plan. Artificially slamming shut the hearts of Pokemon in inexcusable. Put a stop to it immediately. Oh, you. You're so mean and close-minded. You won't even try to understand how marvelous it is to help my XD001. Naps. Yes, ma'am. Sister Lavrina. Uh, this is all your fault. Professor Crane is oh so cross because you were so rude when you invited him here. You can't be serious. Listen to the man already. He's been saying all along that he won't help our Shadow Pokemon plan. I can't hear you. The plan is perfect. XD001's condition was off by just a little tiny bit. Being off by just a little bit tiny a tiny bit is enough to make it drop a ship. And would you look at the uproar? Naps! It's all your fault it's so all your fault what happened. Every tiny little bit, so you so do something about it. Even the way she moves her hip is, is snobby. <laughs> Naps, was it? You have my sympathy. What a nightmare it must be to have someone like her as your boss. <laughs> you put a limb on it. When it comes right down to it, it's so all your fault. Come on, help us with XD001. First, we need to talk. I'll teach you why it's such a bad mistake to create Shadow Pokemon. Naps seems like he could probably be brought over to the, to the light side of the force here. Uh-oh. Did you come here knowing this is Cypher's lab? I sure did. It doesn't matter now. Since you know that we're here, we're not about to let you go free. You know, you're not the first person to have said something along those lines. And I bet you won't be the last. Solox. That's a cool name. Oh, I like that name. Solox. Let's see if I remember it ten minutes from now, but... <laughs> That's an awesome name. Oh, Voltorb. Don't tease me unless it's a Shadow Pokemon. I want a Voltorb. I want my friggin' Voltorb. I don't want to wait. Ah, dang it. Alright, let's use Call and Bite the Ralts. How about that? Oh, I should have gone for the... Oh, shoot. I should have gone for the Voltorb because it's going to hurt Seal real bad. Or not. Alright. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't know any electric type attacks yet. That did hurt, though. 20 health is a lot at this level. Uh... Alright, this should get rid of the Ralts. Yep. I shouldn't even have worried about the Ralts. It's not going to use anything against me. Oh, if only, uh, if only Sfeel knew an Ice-type move. Alright, we better heal up Sfeel. Let's go, yeah, let's go ahead and use, uh, Potion? Potion is not going to be enough if it just uses another Sonic Boom. Let's go for a Super Potion. Why not? It's almost a good use of a Super Potion. Um, Umbreon, let's use Bite on the Voltorb. We need to get rid of that guy now, because that Sonic Boom is going to get real annoying real quick. Yeah, case in point. We might have to use Shadow Wave next turn to finish off the Voltorb, but at least this will get it down on health. Or we're just going to focus fire on the Voltorb next turn and hit it with everything we got, because we're going to have to. Rage. Um, I think that I think that doesn't get stronger until we actually start attacking it, but I don't know for sure. 
Okay, Voltorb. Like I said, very, very fast Pokemon. I want it. I want one. Really badly. Really, really want one. <laughs> Alright, Umbra. Bite. And then Shadow Wave will definitely finish it off. I think Sfeel's... Nope, Sfeel is not faster than the Bagon. Oh, boy. Did that do more than it did last time? Let's see. Uh, I think it did. Pretty sure it did more than it did last time. Hmm, okay. Okay, I was right. So it, it gets stronger every time we hit it. Can do. I can deal with that. I mean, it's not like if we lose feel, we lose the battle, period. Um, we have plenty of other Pokemon to use here. Numble. Oh, Numble's a Shadow Pokemon. Okay. I was about to use Water Gun on it, but that would be... That'd be a little overkill. It's ground and fire type, so it's quadruply weak to water. Um, let's go with a Shadow Wave and a Bite on the Bagon. Hopefully I can get like a critical or something and just take out the Bagon right now. Or I don't need it. That's fine. That's totally fine too. Alright. Focus fire on the Numble. Shadow Wave away. Crit critical hit. That's all, huh? Alright. Well, that's fine. Shadow Blitz against Feel. Again, that's uh, the, the worst target for you to go for out of the two Pokemon you have here to choose from. Let's go with the Pursuit, because it's, uh, again, weaker Dark-type move. This will be good. Yep, yep, good, good. We'll go with another... Hmm, I'm thinking another... Another Shadow Wave after this. Maybe two. I don't want to... Ooh, I'm hesitant to use another attack from Umbreon. I just don't trust Umbreon not to get a critical. There you go. You heard me. See, and again, less predictability in the AI. Um, Mud Slap? Ooh. Ooh, mud slap would be a cheeky, cheeky thing to do. Uh, let's just stick with Shadow Wave. I don't want to. I don't want to take any extra chances here. Tackle. Do, do I dare use tackle? Um. Did we get a fire type? We got a. What did we get from the other guy? Was it a slugma? I don't remember. Ugh. Let's go with tackle. I think it'll be okay. Just don't. As long as Umbreon does not get a critical. We should be fine. Yeah, it looks like looks like we'll be okay. I really don't trust Umbreon. <laughs> He's just too good. Oops. Oh, yes. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna deliberately waste a turn here and use like Sand Attack or something. That way we can call Sfeel and get its heart gauge down. Okay. This might put Sfeel in, in, in a purifiable state. Oh, we're at least close enough that he'll be there by the time we run back to the Relic Forest. Um, alright, no, we're gonna call Sfeel, we're gonna use Sand Attack, actually, we're gonna use a... Uh, no, we'll just use Sand Attack. If we lose Sfeel this turn, it's it's okay. I don't want to lose Sfeel this turn, but if we do, it's, it's okay. Alright, Sfeel looks like it's ready to be purified, which is awesome! We can start working towards a Wall Rain! Shadow Blitz didn't miss, but that's fine. Alright, now we can try to catch this guy. Alright, let's, uh, let's have Sfeel use the ball. Uh, there we go. Pokeball on the Numble, and Umbreon, you can use Sand Attack again. Let's do this. Come on, come on, come on. Don't ruin my catch rate, this Let's Play. Don't, don't do it. Yeah, we're still one for one. That's awesome. We have not missed a single catch so far. Solox, that's a cool name. That's a really awesome name. 680, we have a Numble now. All right, well, with that, Sveal can now be purified. That'll do it for this episode of XD, Gale of Darkness. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and as always, hope to see you all in the next one.